Rex Goddamn Raptor. This man has lost his Red Eyes Black Dragon. This man has lost his Serpent Knight Dragon. This man has lost his Virgin. Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more of the Battle City Deck Profiles. It is me, Cooper, and today we're going to be getting into Rex Raptor. Rex Raptor was sadly passed over in Duelist Kingdom. He did not make it in the spin of the wheel. Nobody ended up getting him as a character, which is really sad because a lot of people loved my average boy. So I have decided to give him a second chance in Battle City. Now I know Battle City did not show anything with Rex Raptor. He is one of the characters that I have decided will be getting a lot of his cards from the future, be it the Seal of War Calcos arc or beyond. So let's get into my boy Rex Raptor and his new ace monster. After losing the Red Eyes Black Dragon, he has gained the Black Tyranno. This is a really powerful dinosaur monster, probably the strongest dinosaur monster you're going to find back in the day. It has a, a freaking 2600 attack stat, and if all of your opponent's cards are just defense position monsters, you can attack directly. That is correct. 2600 direct damage. Incredible. But it says cards your opponent controls, which means if they have spells or traps on the field, you cannot attack them directly. It has to be just monsters in defense mode. That's it. But it's still an amazing card at 2600 attack. Now, Rex Raptor has not changed too much. His rare cards are far and few between. But I at least have two rare cards to talk about this time. Two cards you're only going to see in the Rex Raptor deck. Those rare cards are the Ultra Evolution Pill, a card he can use to tribute by tributing one reptile, he can summon a dino monster from his hand, a special summon which means Black Tyranno will be way easier to summon and his Mega Zowler for, for some goddamn reason he wants to summon that. His other rare card is the Bottomless Trap Hole, one of the best trap holes in existence at this time period, if not the best trap hole you're going to find. It will remove from play a monster that your opponent summons if it has 1500 or more attack. Now, this is not a normal summon. It can stop normal summon, special summon, fusion summon, flip summon, any ritual summon, any kind of summon, guys. It's freaking amazing, and Rex Raptor will be the only person in this tournament to be using the bottomless trap hole. So that is really awesome for my boy. Let's get into Rex Raptor stats, which I can guarantee you are not going to be basic attack anymore, because this man's got... An insane attack stat now. I know, I know. It's like, Cooper, what the hell happened? How much could have changed between Duelist Kingdom and the rest of the show for Rex Raptor? I have one answer for that. The new average is 1,700 attacks, so his two-headed King Rex and his Crawling Dragon don't quite make the cut anymore. They're fine, because they just fall below it, but the real reason Rex Raptor gets this super high attack stat is because he's rocking one of the only 2,000 attack point 4-star monsters in the game. That's right, he's running the Giant Rex. This is a card he used in the Seal of Ori Calcos arc. It's a freaking amazing monster. 2,000 level 4 beater with no restrictions other than it cannot attack directly. Who the hell cares if it can't attack directly? This thing has 2,000 attack. Rex Raptor is going to be dominating in the early game yet again. He's going to be able to overpower his opponents super quickly as uh, in the early parts of the duel. And if it gets to late game where he has to use his tribute monsters, Black Tyranno has 2,600 attack. Which means though, 2,500 Dark Magician, which we've all agreed is the average for two, star, or two tribute monsters, Dark Magician is the average. 2,500 attack is the average. Rex Raptor flies above that to 26 and can attack directly, which is just really nice. So, Rex Raptor has changed. He lost his average status because his attack stat is so high on Giant Rex. Now, moving on to Rex Raptor's defense stat, it is actually really goddamn solid. That's right, Rex Raptor's defense stat has increased just as much. And the reason for that is because Rex Raptor has a new monster, a reptile monster, called the Balloon Lizard. The Balloon Lizard has 1,900 defense. 
The average defense stat has not changed since Duelist Kingdom. It is still 1500. He blows that away at 1900 defense. A lot of his other monsters, they don't quite make it to 15 except for his tribute like the Mega Zowler. That's actually pretty damn solid. Um, the rest of his cards, they, they're just below average. However, the Balloon Lizard blows him above the average with Mega Zowler, so that's freaking awesome. Plus, he has defensive trap cards like the Bottomless Trap Hole, which will give him some protection against his opponent's bigger monsters. So, Rex Raptor's defense stat got a big, big buff thanks to him having multiple copies, a full set of Balloon Lizard. Now, let us move on to Rex Raptor's speed stat, and that is another solid stat, just above average. His a the average stat of a person is 4. He has a 5 on his speed stat. And I know what you're thinking. Koopa, you're insane. He can't be that fast. I mean, last season you gave him a 4. What has changed? He has more Gillisaurus now. Gillisaurus is a dino card he used in the Seal of Orichalcos arc. He, can now he now has a full set, which means his special summoning potential has gone way up. He has his new rare card, the Ultra Evolution Pill. And with this, his special summoning potential has gone way up because his reptile monster is a tank and won't leave the field very often. Not only that, but, you know, he has, uh... Oh yeah, he also gained Call of the Haunted. It's no longer a rare card. Well, I mean, it's rare, but it's Call of the Haunted is something that he has also gained. Something super useful for him, giving him just a little extra speed. Just one, though. So let us go ahead and move on to Rex Raptor's skill stat, and that's where things fall apart. Rex Raptor has no skill, in my opinion. He has just one little extra option, and it's not really a burn option or anything like that. It's just the fact that Black Tyranno can attack directly. Other than that, he has nothing. He's just, he's, he's going to beat you to death. He's not here to burn you to death. He's not here to be too tactical. He has two skill cards in his uh, in this deck that people need to get good at timing, or they know need to know when to use them. Black Tyranno for going for the direct damage rather than just attacking the monsters. It's like, but what if they tribute something bigger? It's fine. Don't worry about that. Go for 2600 direct damage. Be a man. And his monster that, I said the decks were 90% accurate, a dino monster that did exist in dual monster times that I'm giving to him, the Hyper Hammerhead. This card is an amazing dinosaur monster. When it attacks your opponent, it can literally bounce the card it attacked back to the hand, only if the card is not destroyed. So, let's say you, let's say you set Hyper Hammerhead and it gets attacked. At the end of the damage step, they go back to the hand. Doesn't matter what it was. Oh no, my Dark Magician's back in my hand. You wasted it. Yeah, that's right. Hyper Hammerhead will waste it. So Rex Raptor does have that going with his, uh, going along with his um, Black Tyranno. But you also could just straight up attack with it, even if it means destroying your Hyper Hammerhead, because at the end of the damage step, they'll still get bounced back to the hand. It's a really good card. The next stat we're going to be going into is the Brick stat. And Rex Raptor has become unbreakable this man's deck other than black tyranno and mega Zowler, is all level four monsters uh and gillosaurus at level three he has nothing to worry about he gained call of the haunted he gained an ultra evolution pill which could be considered a bricky card but because he has so many monsters in his deck uh, he has 24 monsters in his deck nothing to worry about and only like three or four of those are tribute monsters it is really amazing He's going to have a solid no-brick stat. He has cards that work. He does still have some old-school cards like the Wasteland Field spell because he had to have something. And the Raised Body Heat. But overall, he has no more dragons in his deck, so no more Dragon Treasure. He just has Raised Body Heat, which does work on every single one of his monsters except the Reptile. And that's fine because it's a defense monster and can defend him. This man is doing just fine. I also forgot that Balloon Lizard also does burn damage, so that go that, that little thing goes into his skill stat as well. It does a little bit of burn, but he's not really gonna he's not really gonna use it. His skill stat still deserves to be low. So Rex Raptor's potential for this tournament in particular, the Battle City Tournament, is a solid three stars. I wanted to give him higher because he has a 2000 beater monster in his deck, but I could not. The reason he has three stars, obviously, Black Tyranno is an amazing boss monster. 
Giant Rex is amazing beater monster. Hyper Hammerhead is amazing tactical monster. Gillosaurus is an amazing special summon monster. Balloon Lizard is an amazing tank monster. He still has two Eddie King Rex and Chrono Dragon, which are just solid 16s. That's fine. If you get Wasteland on the field, they're 18, so that's really good. He's got his bottomless trap hole. He's got Call of the Haunted for some backup. He actually has options, everybody. This man can do work now. This man is not going to cry and struggle now. He is going to be just fine in this tournament. I think he has a good chance of winning the tournament. It's just above average. The average is two and a half stars, three stars. The reason I couldn't give him more though is because he doesn't really have many ways of winning a duel. All he can do is battle, battle, battle. The balloon lizard burn damage is not something to rely on. It's not that great. Luckily, Hyper Hammerhead can go sacrifice itself to bounce cards out of the hand, so he still has some tactics. But it's still just a battle, battle, battle deck. This has been Rex Raptor, everybody. I hope you are excited. Hopefully, he can make it into this tournament of Battle City. I really want to see this man rock it. We saw Weevil Underwood win a tournament. Maybe it's time for Rex Raptor. And after watching that, you guys know that power levels are bullshit. So that three stars might as well be a five star or a one star for all we care. See y'all later. Remember to like and subscribe and get hyped. The Battle City Tournament is coming.